I stumbled on this old uh, videotape that I had made back in the late 90s uh, with my fish. So, um, I thought I'd put it up here. It's going to be kind of grainy because it's an old video, and not only that, I put the video in, then I uh, uh, used my camera to uh, video it from the screen of the TV. That, that's why there's going to be some glare and a lot of, um, a lot of graininess to this video. But this was a good year, I remember that. Uh, right there is a Sergeant Major, and that year they were everywhere. I could literally dip a net down and catch about 30 of those at a time. Um, I mean, in one day I, I got like maybe 100 at least kind of thing. Um, and in the background there, you'll see um, at, an Atlantic Blue Tang. I don't find those too often. I think I've only found three or four during the whole time I've been doing this, but it's one of my favorite fish to, to find. And obviously I got one that year, and as you can tell, he's got some good size to him. Um, spot fin butterfly, very common, most common tropical stray that I find around here. Uh, except this year they're running very large, uh, about not the size of my palm, but maybe the, the length of three fingers. That right there is a four-eye butterfly fish, and on a good year, which I haven't had in quite a while with these guys, but on good years, um, for every, say, three spot fin I'd find, I would find two four-eye butterflies, and they'd have a good size to them, just like this guy does, and they'd be fully grown. Lately, what I, not fully grown, but, you know, uh, about two, three inches long. Um, but lately, if I find one or two, if that, a year, they're about the size of a dime, and I just can't raise them out. Obviously, that's a, a blue angel fish. That specific year, I believe I caught. Ooh, I'm gonna take a stab here and say about 30, maybe 40 of them, uh, about that size. Um, a couple, a little bit smaller, and I did catch one bigger too. And I think it's showing up here somewhere. Oh, and by the way, the coral. There it is. There's the other one. But if you see what the, those two pieces of coral right there, and that's called star coral. They come in two different color polyps. Um, it's the same coral, but one, uh, some have purple polyps, some have white polyps. And usually the, the piece itself that I find, um, the frag, what do you want to call it, I'm not sure what you call it, it's about the size of a golf ball um, on, a, on a good good day. Sometimes they're shaped about the size of like a pinky finger, and, uh, but usually they, they do pretty good in aquariums. Um, before I butterfly fish back there, yeah, come on into view. There's that's one of the bigger blue angels I've ever caught. Right there. I'm sure you can tell I'm ad living this. I'm kind of narrating as I'm watching it. <laughs> cowfish. Scrawled cowfish. Um, that's probably about the biggest one I ever caught. See how it's got it's it's already got its horns coming in the front and in the back. Usually when I find those guys, um, I, I haven't found them too often lately. Again, it's been a while. But usually they're about the size of a sugar cube, or sometimes the size of like a, a, a die, you know, like a pair of dice, about that size. Um, but I can grow them out to be about this size, or bigger. Uh, Burrfish, I find those all the time. Normally they're about the size of, a, say, a small potato. Like, um, you know, if you buy a bag of boiling potatoes or red potatoes or whatever. You know, a little bit smaller than your fist, I guess, kind of thing. Um, and sometimes bigger. Sometimes they're about 8 inches long. You know, anywhere, anywhere between four to uh, four to eight inches long. Uh, that's a bicolor damsel fish right there. On good years, I can get get maybe twenty to thirty of those. On bad year, zero to three, kind of thing. Uh, Bo Gregory, same with those. On a good year, maybe twenty. Uh, bad year, zero to maybe three, four. And hermit crabs, they're out there by the. Well, you could literally, if you wanted to, within an hour, I, I kid you not, you can get maybe a thousand of these. Uh, they're just everywhere, so they're not really that big of a deal. Seahorses. Um, normally, I catch about 100 to maybe 400 of these a year. Um, they're not really tropical. They're, they are indigenous to the area. Um, but... They are interesting, and they are aquarium fish, so um, I always include them in my vids. This, just a um, oyster toad, no big deal. So I guess that's it.